ஒரு குழந்தையிடம் துப்பாக்கியை கொடுத்தால் அது தன்னைத்தானே சுட்டுக்கொள்ளும் அதுபோல உன் மனத்தை நீயே கட்டுப்படுத்திக் கொள்ளாவிட்டால் அது உன்னையே அழித்துவிடும் ஒரு பக்கம் கட்டுப்படுத்தினால் மறு பக்கம் அவிழ்த்துக் கொள்ளும் இயல்பு படைத்தது மனம் ஆகவே தியானத்தையும் ஆன்மீகத்தையும் துணை கொண்டு உன் மனத்தை அடக்க வேண்டும் If you give a child a gun, it will shoot itself. Likewise, if you do not control your mind, it will destroy you. If it is controlled at one side, it slackens at the other. Such is the nature of the mind. Therefore, you should control your mind with the help of meditation and spirituality. Let us better understand this oracle. Dealing with the mind is like a child toying with a gun. A step in the wrong direction will ultimately turn out disastrous. Impurities of the mind are the subtle deposits of past indulgent living. It is by repetition that impure thoughts become persistent habits. Habits cannot be overcome by mere reason. time or change of place cannot uproot them yielding to desires punishing or repressing the mind only cause more restlessness and misery the only way to overcome a restless and agitated mind is to face it face it through meditation and spirituality om shakti The following is the experience of young volunteers at Shankaran temple. One day the volunteers went to a dilapidated temple for groundskeeping service. They started cleaning the temple after performing the ritual of drishti to ward off evil eyes as per Siddhar Pidam's procedures. The belief was that the temple was dilapidated due to the curse of a saint. A hungry saint had once visited that temple. On seeing his unkempt appearance, the priests refused to give him any food and even insulted him. The saint became angry and cursed them. The temple since then lost its glory over time due to this curse. The temple did not have anyone to even light a lamp or maintain the premises. It is said Evil energies usually dwell in such conditions and they cause distress to those visiting the temple. Our volunteers began weeding, removing stones and thorns and cleaning the temple with great enthusiasm unaware of all this. They recited the Mula Mantiram, the 108 Mantirams and commenced worship. Right at that moment Bangaru Amma was conversing with a few devotees at the Arutkodam. Amma abruptly stopped the conversation and said, "Wait for some time. I will be back." After some time, Amma came back, sat, and said, "Our youth wing has gone to a dilapidated temple for weeding and cleaning. A drishti is not enough for that place." Some other remedial measures should have been done before going there. They have now landed themselves in trouble. I had to intervene to safeguard them. At that time, a woman devotee named Shanta was also listening to this. She knew the volunteers from the youth wing Amma was referring to. As soon as she came out, she called them and asked Did you all go to that temple for cleaning operations? It seems just a drishti was not sufficient for that place. Additional measures had to be taken. As you were all in danger, Amma meditated and protected all of you. Amma told us this just now. Amma was aware of the danger surrounding the young volunteers who went to the dilapidated temple for service and immediately protected them. Such is the glory and greatness of Amma. Please oh, like, Shakti. share and subscribe to the Bangaru Amma Global YouTube channel for more inspiring and uplifting videos like this one.